morning ladies and gentlemen James with you and I want to run something by you real quick I was thinking about this and I thought what I'll just put it out here and see what people have to say about it uh, you know uh, about the process that the uh, nominees by the president uh, such as somebody running for chief ju or justice on the Supreme Court or Attorney General or Director of this or Director of that. You know how they come before the Senate, uh, Senate leaders uh, for uh, what they call it, <laughs> I like call to call it investigation, background checks and uh, competency hearings and political views. So you see it on TV every day where some the people like Senator Cruz are drilling people who are running for or have been nominated by the president for sake of argument, justice of uh, one of the justices on the Supreme Court. And the drilling that these senators, both Republican and Democrat and whatever, uh, put these people through to find out they're qualified and good enough to hold that office, a powerful office. Uh, and I was thinking about this, watching this uh, the other day, and I'm saying, I wonder why they don't do that for the president, vice president, and, and speaker of the house. Three very, very most powerful seats in, in, in uh, the United States to be for sure, to be sure of. And I mean, if you look at uh, all the stupid stuff that Biden's done over the years, and how many times he called Kamala Harris the president, <laughs> uh, I, I, I really think that he should have been up for one of those uh, one of those boards for a competency test or or stuff like that. We're talking about the most powerful uh, person in the free world here. We're who uh, commands a huge influence over a huge range of issues. I mean, this guy says, "Okay, this is going to be that, and that's what it's going to be," and. Uh, of course, we have the Senate and Congress, you know, stop them in case like that. But when you have one party controlling everything, look out. I mean, dangerous things happen. I mean, we've seen this for, what, the last year and maybe a quarter. And we got, what, maybe two and a half years more of Biden to put up with. Uh, and this country is not in the greatest shape right now. You know, I feel sorry for the next person who comes in and to... Uh, behind Biden because they're going to have to send their four years of presidency, first four years, cleaning up the mess that Biden has created. And, and it just gets gets worse and worse and worse. And I feel for that person, whether it's a Democrat or Republican or Independent Party or whatever. Uh, I think, and I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, you may agree that uh, a competency test should be performed on whoever decides to run for office of the president and their, and their uh, vice president or whatever. Anytime you run for a, a powerful office like that, somebody needs to perform competency tests, you know, and get your ideas on what you're doing. I mean, this is, this should be, uh, this should be what it should, way it should be. I mean, we've seen, we've seen the end results of, of what's going on and some of this stuff. And there's nobody there to put him in check. You know, uh, some of uh, now some of our our congressmen and our senators think they're untouchable. They think because you know they they've been there so long that they can just do anything they want, and people of their state won't won't stand up. But one of our congressmen found out differently here a little while ago uh, that. She uh, is going to work for the people, not for herself. When she came up for re-election, she was defeated immediately. Uh, she forgot who, uh, who who her employers are. And I urge you to, you know, take in consideration who you're sending to Congress or the Senate or even President. I mean, think about it. I mean, just don't put somebody in there because they're a Democrat or Republican. I mean, look at their views and look what they've done in the past. Are these indeed the right people for that office? You know, here in Oklahoma, uh, one of the best governors we've had was uh, Governor Brad Henry. Uh, he was a Democrat. Of course, I'm a Republican, so it doesn't matter to me. I vote for the right person. 
And I thought at the time that Brad Henry was the right person. I'm, I'm telling you, eight years, this state ran like clockwork. I mean, uh, I mean, there's nobody in this state can say, uh, in, speak ill of Brad Henry. I, I can gar almost guarantee that. Uh, of course, we had the most beautiful first lady <laughs> in, in the United States at the time with Kim Henry. But uh, please, please, please think about you know what you're doing when you go to the voting poll. Just don't vote on somebody because you know uh, they're a Democrat or a Republican. Vote for them because they're the right person for the office. I mean, do the research. I mean, it's not that hard. Uh, I hope you have a nice day. I hope this Sunday morning uh, brings you bliss and happiness. And I. Wish you and your families all the best. You have a beautiful day.